The difference with mirrorless cameras and your DSLRs is the way the viewfinder works. On a DSLR, what you see through the viewfinder is what you see through the actual lens. Using mirrors. On a mirrorless camera, it's a little tiny LCD screen, but it eats your battery. So they came up with a solution of when you're not using the viewfinder, it turns off to save a bit of battery power. But the way that it switches between your viewfinder and your LCD screen is via a little tiny sensor. How many times have you gone to use your camera and your thumb or something has got in the way of the sensor and it switched between the two? I've actually got a fix for this. <music> Greetings all. Welcome back to another one. Yeah, this one is just a very quick little workaround for your mirrorless cameras. This is not just specifically for this one, the M50. Majority of the mirrorless cameras that I know of, I've seen, and I've even used, all have the same thing, where they have a little tiny sensor that's on the back of the camera. So when you put it up to the eye, it will switch from the back screen to the viewfinder. But many a times, and I know many people have, that all it takes is a little something when you're leaning across to change a setting or something, it, it keeps switching. It, it can be really annoying, but there is a fix for this. And it's not just as simple as turning it off because you may need that viewfinder. So instead of having to go through the settings, we're gonna go through a quick, simple and easy way to switch manually without going through the menus. So let's start off first with the simple way of actually turning off the auto switching. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is once you've got the camera on, turn it to manually switch between your back screen and the viewfinder. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you go into your menu, then in the men into the menu, you're gonna to go to your spanner, which is the, the settings is the, on the, the top row, third one across uh, to option number four. So it's spanner number four. Scroll all the way down to display settings. In display settings, you've got display control. This is going to be on auto. So on auto, that will switch when you put it up to your eye between the viewfinder and your back screen. This needs to be obviously set to manual. But that's okay, but if you're just going to use your back screen, but if you're not, and you're gonna actually use the viewfinder as well, just one button will switch between the two. So how are we gonna do this? Well, it's setting up a custom function. The, the many wonderful things of the modern cameras is that you can custom the, what the buttons actually do on, on your camera. And this is all we're going to simply do is simply set up a custom button. All the buttons on here, I actually do use apart from one and that's the flash. It's quite simple. I do not use the inbuilt flash. I have an external flash if I'm going to do flash photography. However, I don't see the point of having a button where you turn the flash on and off when it's quite simply that that would be off and wouldn't fire and that would be on when you've lifted it up. So just keep it on because that will control it on or off anyway. So you just leave it on. So we're gonna use the flash button on the back of the camera to switch between the back of the display and the viewfinder. Quite simple, spanner again, right the way across to option number five. And you'll see at the top of the menu uh, that this, where it says custom functions. So we're gonna go into custom functions, scroll right the way to the end where we've got custom controls other. And these are the buttons where, which we can change what they actually do. So we're gonna tap the screen. It will then bring up the list of the buttons that we're going to alter. So we're gonna to scroll to the one that says, it's got the flash symbol, which is on the, which is actually on the dial on the right hand button. So we're gonna select that. And then we're going to say to the camera what we want it to do. Well, what we want it to do is switch between VF and screen, which is the viewfinder and the screen. 
you save your settings back to the menu and if we come all the way out of that so now when we press the button it will switch between the two and it is literally that simple so i told you nice quick simple and easy one the guide that i've actually just done is done on the actual m50 so there are going to be some variations depending on the camera that you're actually going to be using so check your manual it's going to be fairly similar um, especially if you're canon but if you're on like nikon you're going to have to consult your manual but that is the way to do it so thanks for joining me on this one and uh, i'll see you on the next one take care stay safe I'll see you soon.